Hey guys, this is Harpsar123 here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on BYM Roblox. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making this really cool sword. Um, you can do a different design. This one doesn't have any weapons on it. You could just literally make it a, just a spike if you truly wanted to. But, uh, let's let's show you what it does so when you unanchor the parts you make sure that you're I'm using this body only because the parts stick to it correctly I recommend that you use it too and then as you can see they line up delete that and then there we go <clears throat> so that would be our sword but then when you click that button it turns uh, off the connection to the sword and you could either connect it to the other hand or you could connect it in a different fashion to where okay it just lagged right into the ground okay so I accidentally lagged it in the ground but you can make it follow you you can make it um, form on different parts of your hand which looks really cool so I'm going to reload this slot back up. There we go. Okay. So of course the parts you're going to need for this is one anchored part, a positive and a negative um, magnet. You're going to need just a normal passenger seat. And then these are just little blocks that I put here. They're nothing really. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to set out everything like that. And then I'm going to just place these right there. There we go. And then place your seat right in the middle. So now you've got your basic structure. It's going to work now. Okay. So after you grab your um, plus pieces, you want to make sure that your plus piece is pointing outwards, and you want to make sure that it's on your hand. I'm actually going to scale this part over here by 0.1 so it doesn't interfere whatsoever. There we go. Um, I'm going to get it so it's right in the middle. I'm actually going to uh, point, use point .25. Oh, no, that's way too little. There we go. That should get it more or less in the middle. There. So, I'm actually going to scale this over by point .1. I mean, not scale it. Move it by point .1. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. So now that it's on one hand, gotta take this one, move it up as well, so it's in the middle of your hand. Now you've got those. I'm actually gonna put these anchored pieces on them because I don't wanna uh, unanchor it and have them all fall. There we go. Next thing. You could grab a normal part over here. This is seriously a normal part. And as you can see, the only key bind I have is to turn off this magnetic piece right here. You don't even have to have that. But um, you don't even have to have these magnets even. You could literally just build a sword and make sure that it touches your hand. And when you unanchor the part, um, it'll um, do that. But I think we're going to do the magnets because it will uh, I guess make it more effective I guess so um, I'm just gonna copy a magnet make sure that the negative side is pointing towards the um, towards the positive side so if I can get it Oh. Ok, 
Okay, will that work? Yeah, okay. Uh, no longer 0.5, let's bring it up to 0.1. Move it across until it's right in front of it. The only the one issue with magnets is when you're working with stuff this small, it is very, very hard to do it. There we go. Place that one there. And then I'm just going to move it to this hand. And you, it's okay for you to have it off just by a little bit. Um, because, like, not sideways, but I mean, like, off of the magnet a little bit because it'll automatically connect itself. And I'm going to build this really quickly. But this is, like I said before, our normal part. I just textured it. You don't even have to texture it the same. You could literally do it's you could literally do anything with this. There's that. That. Tilt. And I'm literally just going to make a really quick version. And this is where you really get to just design it, play around with it. This is where you can add weapons. Um, I recommend that you don't make it too big, but aside from that, um, you're pretty much good. And I'm actually going to remove that, make it uh, slant-wise. I mean, not slant-wise, but I mean a different uh, vertice bring it up to the left this way there we go it's touching it there that is pretty much good and then just gotta grab it place it on the other side And it's near done. There we go. So then the next thing, I'm just going to grab this part here and move it over so it's in the middle. And this is a wedge. Like, none of this I did was any weapons. I just did it for, I felt like doing a design that I guess looked cool uh, and right for me. And. I can't say it enough, but there's no there's nothing really special here. It's just a really um um it the only thing that is necessary is the effects. I personally think and for those um that's the only it's the magnet system which I've already got down here and you don't need to worry about it. So, just place this literally anywhere on there and then uh, save it. I'm saving them currently as Armor Maker. Uh, you could save it as whatever you want though. And then unanchor the parts. That one must have not have been connected. There we go. And then destroy this. See? It automatically I, I had it off a little bit, but it connected itself. And now look. So, of course, I forgot to do the key binding, but um, you can do that. It's really simple. Just choose a key and select on the red magnetic part. 
and basically what it would do is when you undo this you can either switch it to the other hand or you can make it go in a different position just like it did so let's try it on the other hand yes uh, it's weird but it actually can go through you it works outside the garage as well um, if I can get this right maybe I can so uh, you can already see that it's pretty effective and it, having it in these different modes like this is another one it kinda sh shoots you all over the place I don't know what this would be used for but when you move it like I guess this one kinda looks cool when you're moving like you have it held behind you or you're like trying to stab someone or I don't know I really don't know what you use that for but <clears throat> once you get it back to its original spot there we go so um if you guys like this tutorial, if you want me to build one, uh, make any other tutorials similar to this one, like, I don't know, a, how to build a realistic sword on a mech or something, don't uh, don't forget to um, sh uh, give your ideas in the, in the comments, and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot, you guys. Um, so I will... See you all later. <laughs>